Hello friends, this is Durga again from IT Varsity, a one-stop shop to learn all the technologies. At this time, we are talking about HDFS and uh, as part of this video, I will be covering fault tolerance in HDFS. So, HDFS is fault tolerant. Typical systems use RAID for hardware failures, especially the uh, failures such as hard disks. Um, but HDFS does not use RAID. RAID only solves a hard disk failure and um, mirroring is expensive and striping is slow. So, HDFS uses mirroring and uh, it uses a parameter called dfs.replication to control how many copies should be made. So, when I say mirroring uh, and uh, by default this dfs.replication is 3. So, as part of the previous video we have seen uh, how a file will be divided into blocks. So, we have tried copying a file of uh, uh, 600 MB with 128 MB and also 64 MB and 128 MB with 128 MB block size. Uh, the 600 MB file divided into 6 blocks and those 6 blocks are distributed on our 3 node cluster. With 64 MB there were 10 blocks and uh, 10 or 11 blocks and those 10 or 11 blocks are distributed across multiple clusters. So, uh, and also when we actually, when I actually demonstrate that, I have used dfs.replication equal to 1. So, each block will be there only one copy and uh, we can actually validate that by running hdfs fsck user root large deck dot txt files blocks locations ok and you can see that uh, the block replication is 1 and uh, you can see that with 64 MB there are 11 blocks for this file and each one have only one copy of it. Now if I have to run this 700 MB file or 720 MB file, um, I have to have all the blocks even if one block is uh, uh, missing I will not be able to read the complete data. So uh, and uh, also I have shown you going to the name node uh, web interface user root large deck and we can see that block 0 is on node 03 so if node 03 is uh, down all the blocks that are on node 03 will uh, will be lost and we will not be able to read the data so if we use replication factor 1 on a multi node cluster or even a single node cluster if that data node is if the data node is down, uh, then it will impact the HDFS. Most of the files will not be uh, completely uh, readable and hence uh, there will be significant uh, impact on the cluster. Uh, so, to, to avoid that, they came up with this concept called replication factor and by default it is 3. Now, what I am doing is I am actually deleting the file which I have copied. and then copying the file with 64 MB only but I am uh, actually let me do this dfs dot replication let me use the replication factor as 2 the default is 3 in this case I am using replication factor as 2 and hit enter now the file is cop uh, file will be copied into hdfs under path user root once the copying is done we will review how uh, the metadata will look like uh, from the web interface and also we will run the hdfs fsck command the copying is still going on because i have a uh, cluster which is set up on uh, uh, three virtual machines on my mac uh, or four virtual machines on my mac the performance is very slow so the copying is done we can open this file and now you can see that each block if there are two uh, two uh, two nodes, so even if one of the nodes goes down um, in our three node cluster, um, there will be no impact for HDFS. So this is how the replication factor uh, tries to solve the problem. And if we run HDFS FSC command now, you will see lot more, uh, uh, for each block uh, there will be multiple IP addresses. 
you can see it here so this block is on this node and also this node node 0 1 and node 0 3 okay so if if one of the nodes goes down in our three node cluster still uh, data will be uh, accessible because there is another copy of each of the block on some other node uh, hence uh, there will there won't be any impact uh, for the applications who try to process uh, or read the data in hdfs so uh, as, I, as i have mentioned in the slide um, conventionally this is taken care of using raid and raid use, uh, we can set up either measuring or striping but raid only solves hard disk failures if the motherboard fails then uh, the server will be down if the memory crashes then the server will be down if there is any other uh, error in the uh, if there is a, a, any other fault in in the server itself then uh, you cannot access uh, anything on that including the storage so the in uh, uh, hadoop uh, especially hdfs by using the application factor as the data will be copied and maintained as local copies on multiple nodes even if one of the nodes let's say in this case we have three data nodes okay so on one of the node let's say node 04 even if motherboard goes down still node 03 and node 03 and node 02 and node 03 will be up and running and hence it will not uh, have any impact to your applications it can uh, survive um, uh, any any type of hardware failure within a given node so uh, and also uh, so if if uh, network fails then what is the scenario if the network fails with a typical configuration uh, you will lose uh, access to the cluster and you will not be able to uh, do anything but there is a concept called rack awareness which will be covered later which can ad address that issue so using rack awareness um, hdfs is smart enough to distribute data in such a way that at least one copy is maintained in uh, uh, each of the rack um, if you have multiple rack uh, set up and and even if uh, due to the network uh, issues even if one network switch goes down still the data will be accessible and i will cover rack awareness a little bit later but for now just remember that replication factor is the one which will actually uh, help you uh, working uh, uh, help you in the fault tolerance and also it is very important for you to remember the default values for both block size and replication factor for replication factor the default value is 3 so at least there will be three copies of each and every block unless you override uh, uh, while copying data li like this and block size by default is 128 mb and uh, uh, um, 128 mb in the uh, latest versions especially from hadoop 2 in hadoop 1 um, in most of the versions the default value of block size is 64 mb and recently with hadoop 2 they have changed it to 128 mb so make sure you remember the default values of both replication factor and block size replication factor it is 3 and block size it is 128 mb it is very important to remember because in uh, some of the certifications where the questions are objective there could be a straight question about uh, uh, the replication factor and uh, and block size including the defaults and also uh, there can be some trick questions such as uh, uh, how much uh, what will be the size of the last block uh, if if the block size is 128 mb uh, and if the file size is 200 mb what will be the size of the last block in that scenario the last block size will be uh, 72 mb which is the leftover uh, for the uh, last one after distributing for uh, rest of the uh, blocks and also there could be a trick question such as if there is only single node single data node and if the replication factor is 3 will there be 3 copies uh, in that single node or will there be one copy and the answer is there will be only one copy if the replication factor is uh, uh, 4 and if your data node uh, if you have only 3 node cluster uh, instead of uh, having 4 copies there will be only 3 copies for each of the uh, block there won't be more than the size of the cluster even if you define the replication factor 
more than the size of the cluster it is a trick question uh, there is a chance that in some of the certification exams you you might get that kind of questions okay so that being said i hope you are enjoying the content on the channel if you like this video please click on the like button if you want to provide the feedback please use the comment section of the video if you want to discuss further about certifications or big data please use uh, my linkedin groups called itversity hyphen certifications or itversity hyphen big data and finally if you are not subscribed to my channel yet please do so you will get to see a lot more content like this over time thank you bye